Douglas. Talia Tongavailoa comes in to his younger brother, who's a true freshman. Enrolled in January, participated in spring practice. It's a little shorter than Tua. Tua listed at 6'1". Talia at 5'11". Tongavailoa's grew up in Hawaii. And they think Talia has a lot of the same instincts and feel that Tua does and is a natural passer like Tua. He's got a lot of gifts. Uh, I think he's probably a little bit more raw than Tua was when he arrived on campus. I think Talia is more of a project at this point in his career. But he is certainly going to be in the mix if, in fact, Tua decides to forego his eligibility and enter the NFL draft. It's going to be a heck of a showdown between Talia Tungabaloa, Mac Jones, and, and Paul Tyson, the other freshman quarterback. Tungabaloa rolling out. He's a right-handed passer. And he completes it to Ruggs. Don't forget about Bryce Young, who is expected to be at Alabama. That's going to make it real interesting. Here are some of the details. Tonga Bailoa, number five quarterback in the ESPN 300. And they say the main difference, he wasn't quite as physically developed as Tua. Tua arrived on campus, and he looked the part. He looked like a junior or a senior already the day he arrived. And, and Talia's still kind of forming his body to what he wants it to be. And and becoming more athletic. Tongabello on third down, steps up, avoids a sack, now backs up and dumps it off. Here's Robinson, and he stretches out and has a first down for Alabama. Good job by Talia, keeping that play alive and moving the chains. Kid. Stepping up, Telvin Nagim beats Brown around, around the edge, and he just continues to create. Keeps his eyes downfield and throws a nice, nice, accurate throw to Robinson. Is very close. They gave him the first down on the field, but very they do close. that, and then he's got to kind of talk him out of it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, kind of slow play it a little bit. But the kid is a gunslinger. That's what he is. They had something on that ball as he hits Waddle and put up some incredible numbers at. Thompson High School in Alabama. The Tonga Bailoa family moved here from Hawaii when Tua committed. He's one of those players, too, that he's probably going to be better on game day. I mean, in practice yes. is where the structured guys are probably going to succeed a little bit more, but the guys that are able to improvise and showcase instincts on Saturdays is probably when he's going to be at his count. Two of those balls were thrown away, and one was dropped. And that first start, correct me if I'm wrong, for Tua came after he had won a national championship. Correct. As a against, backup. Yeah. Against Louisville at the start of the season last year. And They're going to have to bench Tua, guys. Yep. Quarterback yep. controversy in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> oh, man. The oh, headlines boy. are roaring tomorrow. Can yeah. you imagine what they're – how are they going to make a decision? Former um, quarterback at Alabama, Greg McElroy, <laughs> says there's a quarterback controversy. Engaged, so important for kids to have a role, know they're going to play, know they're going to get better and be involved. Talk about Lola dumps it off to Waddle and see where he stepped out. Looks like he's got the first down. Yeah, I think he's just passed it. A good job by Waddle knowing the LSU Tigers that'll be here in a couple weeks, but still a long way to go. But Alabama is certainly looking excellent tonight. Here's Waddle. Again, just shows you some of that incredible skill as he backtracks past the 35 and inside the 20 before he goes out of bounds. Well, one thing to keep in mind for Alabama, some of the injuries they've suffered in this game, which we'll show you in a second after we show you what Waddle just did here to the Arkansas defense. I mean, he's Dante Hall. I mean, that, that's that's what I see. He's not – it's a little bit thicker than Dante Hall, but remember when Dante Hall was just dominating with college football in the NFL with, in the return game. I mean, he is sensational. Two Heisman candidates. I know Jalen Hurts is in the discussion, but with the records of Bama and LSU – it might be Tua or Burrow at this point, but a lot of season left. Alabama may be hitting its stride, even though it played without maybe the best player in the country tonight. Tua Tonga by Loa. Alabama led 41-0 at halftime, and the tide rolls to a 48-7 win over Arkansas. Mac Jones debut as the starting quarterback for Alabama.